Hey everybody, Mark Back to Comics and I'm back. This time I went to a shop in Salt Lake City recommended by a good friend, Jason, Southern Comic Geek. If you want to see what books I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. Welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So, like I said, ended up going to a comic book shop in Salt Lake City. Was highly recommended by Jason, Southern Comic Geek, and another uh, person when I was in the Salt Lake City area. So, um, I had a little bit of the time. Went to the shop that night and uh, was able to browse. It was a good shop. Um, talked to the owner for a little bit and didn't get any footage unfortunately um, didn't have time I was in a short short time constraint so um, ended up doing my comic hunting my wife and son went to the store and they came back and then when I got there I was just about done hunting so uh, wanted to show off some of the books that I got hopefully you guys enjoy it so um, what did I end up spending total? Like I said, I always like to be a little transparent about what I spend on comics. Just to show you guys like what you can find out there in the wild, even when you're going to a completely different LCS, place you've never been to, and just doing a little bit of hunting. So um, ended up spending $45, I believe it was $45, ended up getting a stack of books, two three, four, five, six books. Not bad. So, um, 45, 45 bucks for six books. Not too shabby. Um, let's start off with the first book and I'll tell you a little bit about it, what I was thinking about when I, you know, picked it up and so forth. If there's any, um, spec potential and, and so forth. Um, so first book ended up picking up, picked this up for cover price. And this is Moon Knight, issue number 190. If you're not familiar with this character, this is right here you see on here is the um, Sun King. Uh, so this is second appearance of Sun King, and it's the first cover appearance of Sun King. And this book's been you know going up and down, up and down. Um, a lot of speculation, a lot of heat going behind this character because it could be one of the characters that Ethan Hawke ends up you know portraying in the Moon Knight series. Um, if he ultimately ends up portraying this character, hopefully it's not a one and done, um, because he's a great actor and I would like to see more from him. So, uh, if he does play this character, this book is going to explode. Uh, issue 189 is the first appearance and, um, it's going for around 20 bucks or so. This book's not too bad. You can pick this up, you know, for about five bucks or less. Um, there is... What can I say? It is a pretty nice cover. Um, ended up picking this up for cover price. Third thing I wanted to tell you about this book is that little unknown in this book is the first appearance of Deatrice. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It is the daughter of both Moon Knight and Marlene, which is his long, you know, love interest in the series. Um, there is some speculation on this character more so than um, than the Sun King that, if I'm not mistaken, there was a quick shot in the Moonlight preview that showed Mark Spector with a teen girl whose identity is unknown. So whether or not it is Deatrice, who knows? But um, you can get this book, like I said, for you know a few bucks, five dollars, what what have you. But a great spec book. Ended up picking this up for, like I said, cover price. Next book also picked up for cover price is a great spec book this is young avengers volume 2 issue number one and i think this is the unofficial first team appearance of all these characters that you see here on the cover so this is what hulkling america chavez uh, i think that's wiccan uh, wiccan uh kid loki and kate bishop so um Good spec book, not in the best condition. It's probably like a, you know, probably because of this little right here, it looks a little faded. Um, 
see some fingerprints and whatnot on here. And you see it was well read. But uh, I picked this up for cover price. Um, great book to spec on. It's probably like a $30 book in the Air Mint. This is probably a fine, fine plus copy. But I was happy to pick this up for cover price. Next book ended up picking up was uh, Punisher, issue number 225. And uh, whenever you see these late Punisher issues, this is the um, second time I found this book in the wild. Um, I believe it's from like 218 to like 228, I believe. Uh, great books. Has to do with the Punisher War Machine, if I'm not mistaken, which ties into the upcoming Armor War series that will probably, you know, debut in a few years. But uh, these are low printed. They had a um, majority of them were covers by Clayton Crane. Uh, which you probably barely see there in the signature there, but um, pick this up for cover price. So um, these, if you could find them, they're probably going around the ten to fifteen dollar range for these lowly printed uh, issues in Punisher. So this was a nice pickup. Um, next book, nobody's specking on this book. Um, it's it's an indie book. I personally love the story. I do have some original art from this series. But uh, this is issue, um, this is volume one, it's a giant of Blood Realm. And uh, it's an 80 page giant, it compiles the first three stories of Blood Realm from volume one, uh, which is $4.99. You can, I wanna say these are pretty hard to find in the wild. You can pick these up right on the uh, Alternatives website, but it's a great series by uh, Robert Geronimo. If you do like the dark, or a sci-fi fantasy type of story take a look into the series I think it's fantastic it's written and drawn by Robert Geronimo different take on the uh, drawing style from the fantasy horror standpoint I think it's amazing I recommend you give it a shot if you can find it or just order it right from Alterna Comics I'll probably put up an, a video coming up on uh, Blood Realm there is a um, volume four coming out in the spring so that's all i'll say on that but uh, check this out if you do get a chance great read and then the last two books i ended up picking up they were wall books um i was gonna say tons of back issues in that comic shop um not too many wall books not too many slabs the few slabs that they did have there I didn't find that they were worth buying. I just thought the prices were too expensive for what the book was. But um, I did find two cool books on the wall that I thought were worth picking up and two books that I've never previously owned. The first book, it's a nice key. Um, so I'll just show you and you guys know what this is. It says X-Men Annual, issue number 14. And if you're not familiar with this book, this is the uh, first appearance of Gambit. Um, some people will say that this is the first cameo. Some people will say it's the first full. I'll leave that up to you guys. I'm not going to do that debate. Um, he is in multiple panels. You see him uh, talking. The name is mentioned. So I'll leave it for what that is. Um, did have it on the wall for 12 bucks. I thought that was a no brainer. It's not a near mint by any means. It says it's a fine copy. I'd probably say it's probably a VF, which could probably get a good grade with a press. But um, never owned this book. I thought it was pretty cool. I do already have Uncanny X-Men 266 uh, in a really nice copy. But um, I figured I'd pick this up anyways. And as a thank you, I'm going to end up putting this in my giveaway. Uh, so look out for that video contest. And um, the last book I ended up picking up was the other wall book. This was the most expensive book that I ended up paying for. Most expensive being relative. I only spent 20 bucks on it. But um, this is True Comics issue number 36. And uh, this is from 1944. This is obviously a World War II cover. There's a lot going on in here. Um, the owner graded it at a VG plus, which is, it probably is like a four or five. Um, looked at it closely, opened it up, looks complete. Does need pressing, which would benefit the grade. Um, 
pretty cool here. It says Canada Subbusters Flying General. I don't believe there's any graded on the census, but I will be submitting this off to CGC when I do compile my books and send it off. But I um, was happy to pick this up. It was the only Golden Age book that they had at the shop. Um, when I talked to the shop owner, they're like, yeah, whenever we get some Golden Age books or Silver Age books, they don't last. They just they just go right off the shelf. So um, it was the only Golden Age book that they had there. So I ended up picking it up. I mean, for 20 bucks, it wasn't bad. It goes for around 20 to 30 bucks on eBay. So I thought that was a pretty good buy. But um, that's it. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the haul. I had a great time going to Black Cat Comics in uh, Salt Lake City. If you're ever in the area, please check it out. It's a good shop. has a ton of back issues. Um, one of the things I did find a little weird is that they did charge for the bags and boards. Like they kind of like added the price in there when the book was already bagged and boarded. I thought that was kind of strange. I've never been to a shop that did that. But um, outside of that, the shop was cool. Um, the owner was very informative, very helpful in finding whatever I needed. So uh, if you're ever in the Salt Lake City area, please check it out. It's a cool shop. And um, enjoy all the cool books that they do have there. So uh, until next time, it's Marks with the Comics. Out.